In today's video, I am going to be breaking down a very interesting ETF that has a 9.5% dividend. If you're Canadian, you can invest in this as well, but it is on the American stock market. Anyways, let's get down, let's check this out, and there's actually a few reasons that this is a good investment, but also something in this ETF kind of scares me about the future. Anyways, this ETF is XYLD. It's the Global X S&P 500 Covered Call. Basically, the reason why you can get a 9.5% dividend is because it's a covered call, which basically means the stocks that they hold, let's say it's Apple, let's say, for example, they want to sell a covered call. Well, let's say they own 100 shares. If you don't know how a covered call works, this is basically how it works. And then they would sell an option, a call option, to somebody. Let's say promising that Apple will hit, let's say, $500 a share. Let's say currently it's at $400 a share. They would then pay a premium to us of, let's say, $1,000. And this would be for 100 shares of Apple. If they do not go to $500 a share, we keep our shares and we keep our $1,000. It's almost like playing casino. Anyways, the average volume is currently at 230,000 shares being traded every single day of XYLD. Its expense ratio is kind of high when it comes to ETFs. However, it's in line with the average covered calls at 0.6%. But there is something that does concern me. And we'll, we'll, we'll kind of look at this on the chart. So, of course, this is 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. We can see that it pretty much traded in line. If you were to grab some here or reinvest your dividends in these times or at these times or consistently, whatever, then you would actually be making a killing. If you were buying up here and just buying it for the dividend, you would then not be doing so well because you would just be getting the dividend. So on some of these cover calls, you have to be strategic. Right now, it's kind of in the middle of its long-term trading average. It would have been fantastic to buy it here. Your dividend would have been ridiculous. However, this is what really does concern me and something that I've mentioned before in my videos and also is now becoming more and more true. About six months ago, I actually said in my videos that we now are looking at covered call ETFs and seeing a massive gain in volume. And this is no different. We are currently seeing millions of shares of this ETF and many other covered call ETFs being traded every single day. And why is this important? Well, back six months ago, I said there's going to be a shift and I obviously back then we I didn't exactly know what was going to happen with the market, but I knew that there was going to be a shift over to dividend style investing, basically what I do. And the shift right now is because there's going to be less money printed, which means that speculative stocks, for example, Bitcoin, tech things like that are not going to be the sole focus of big investors. And I'm talking about the billionaires. They're going to be really moving a lot of their cash and a lot of their money over to dividend style investing because that is what works in the long term, especially when there's less money being printed. Less speculation in the markets means that the money will be going to blue chip style stocks or higher dividend options, because that's where the money would be coming from. And guess what? That is what we're seeing right now in all of the covered calls, even this one. And six months ago, we were seeing this starting to rise, and then it sort of kind of leveled off, and now we're starting to see the volume rise once again. What does this all mean? Well, it could mean two different things. Overall, this has only been around for a couple of years and there's covered call ETFs that have only been around for six months, two months, one month. And there's also covered call ETFs that have been around for a very, very, very long time, for example, this one. And we really have not seen too much action when it comes to volume. We've seen an uptick here because of course there was a massive downturn in the market and people then at that point need to find a way of making money and dividends is a fantastic way to do so. We also seen it back here as well when there was that dip. However, with the market rising as it is and even this ETF is rising, we are now seeing massive inflows 
of volume, of money being invested into XYLD. This actually tells me that there's going to be a massive shift away from stocks that do not pay a dividend that are tech stocks. Stocks and companies, for example, like Apple, are going to do extremely well because they do pay a small dividend and they're still in tech, which is technically still a high growth area. However, companies like Tesla might have some issues. Stocks that have Bitcoin may have some issues. However, at the same time, if, for example, ETFs that may be a covered call strategy on Bitcoin, the price of the stock or the ETF itself might go down, but those dividends will still be and the volume will still be there. So I'm not too sure if that would be a fantastic investment at this point in time. However, the future growth of Bitcoin does look extremely inviting and promising. However, when we're looking at XYLD, that's is this is actually really really interesting because now this may be a shift away from those stocks and we're see seeing more and more of that shift happening. Even CNBC is talking about it. The other nice thing about this ETF is it does pay a monthly dividend, which means that if you're using it as income replacement, it's extremely inviting. We can also see year over year that there is a dividend increase as well, which is what you generally want to see. The top 10 holdings that they would be running covered calls against minus the call option that they have there is Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Alphabet, Alphabet, Berkshire Hathaway, Tesla, and Nvidia. So we could still see potential growth in some of these names. However, Tesla and Amazon are kind of, and Facebook is kind of concerning to me, mainly because they do not pay a dividend. And that is what the market seems to be kind of shying away from, but Tesla's growth story is going to be massive. There's news up here in Canada about how massive this may be as well. Because our crazy, insane environment minister up here in Canada that Trudeau put into power apparently wants to make fossil fuels illegal in two years, which means that if you drive a gasoline powered car, if you want to travel to Canada, you're going to get stranded. If you drive a gasoline powered car here in Canada, you ain't driving. I doubt this is ever going to pass, but at the same time, News like that will really push Tesla stock up, especially when it gets to bigger and bigger countries and not a small little puny country when it comes to GDP like Canada. We have a lot of land. We just, we, yeah, I, I, I just don't understand uh, Trudeau or his government or really anything about government anymore. Anyways, uh, the biggest investment uh, in this ETF is Apple. They do pay a puny, puny, puny dividend and they do have ridiculous volume, but we have to remember that this is a covered call strategy. We're doing it for the covered call uh, income, not the actual dividends of the stock. Obviously, six months out or pa in the past six months, Apple's growing as well. Microsoft, same idea where we're looking at a 0.7% dividend, not massive, crazy volume at the same time, but we're not again investing in this for the dividend, but instead of the covered call income. And of course, the stock has gone up over the past six months, but recently has trailed off. And Amazon is the one that does not pay a dividend. And we can see that in literally its stock price of declining because this is just how the market is starting to shift. Plus, there's more and more people who are actually willing to go outside and um, not be afraid as much anymore, which means that they are not buying as much from Amazon or at least... Uh, not as much as at the peak. They are starting to go to stores again, which is fantastic for people who own stores. And uh, Amazon's going to make their money anyways. They're they're a massive company. You want to buy something, the first thing you look at is Amazon. You don't go to the store anymore. You just look at Amazon and say, well, what's Amazon's price? And then you say, well, what's the price so I can get it today? No, oh, I'll just wait and I'll just get it on Amazon. Anyways, that's my thoughts on this ETF. I think it's fantastic. I think that there's going to be a massive shift over to dividend style stocks as well as dividend style ETFs. If this continues, it's going to be very interesting. However, I hope that we all get through whatever is happening in the world right now and the investments keep on going up. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys again next time.